Today we are going to learn about reading absolute value inequality graphs for one variable. Let's look at a problem. Write an absolute value equation for the graph shown. We can see a number line here. There is an open circle at x equals 3 and the graph is showing towards the right an open circle at negative 3 and the graph is showing towards the left. This means x is greater than 3 here and this means x is less than negative 3 here. So whenever according to the rules we have if x less than negative a or x greater than a then we should have absolute of x greater than a. So x less than negative 3 or x greater than 3 implies absolute of x should be greater than 3. We have taken greater than and less than because there were open circles. When there are open circles, circles are not filled, then we take only the less than or greater than inequality, not the less than equal to or the greater than equal to. So our answer is B part absolute of X is greater than 3. Next problem. Write an absolute value equation for the graph shown. Here negative 2 and 4. The values are lying between negative 2 and 4. So we can say negative 2 is less than X is less than 4. Now I need a value which is equal in magnitude but opposite in signs both the sides. So what I'll do is I'll take the median of these two, the extreme values. That is negative 2 plus 4 divided by 2 which is 2 by 2 which is 1 and I'll subtract this value both all the sides. So minus 2 minus 1 less than x minus 1, less than 4 minus 1. So we can say minus 3, less than x minus 1, less than 3. So, and according to the rules, if negative a is less than a, x is less than a, then our absolute of x is less than a. So this implies absolute of x minus 1 should be less than 3. Which is the answer in the C part? Next problem. Write an absolute value equation for the graph shown. Now here the extreme values are negative 4 and 5 and the circles are filled. That means negative 4 is less than equal to x, less than equal to 5. Take the median of these two, negative 4 plus 5 divided by 2, that's 1 by 2. So we subtract 1 by 2, so negative 4, negative 1 by 2, less than equal to x minus 1 by 2, less than equal to 5 minus 1 by 2. 4 can be written as 8 over 2. So minus 8 by 2 minus 1 by 2 less than equal to x minus 1 by 2 less than equal to 5 can be written as 10 by 2. So 10 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 8 minus 1 minus 9 by 2 less than equal to x minus 1 by 2 less than equal to 10 minus 1 is 9 by 2. So this implies absolute of x minus 1 by 2 is less than equal to 9 by 2 which is the answer in the C part. I hope you can practice more problems on reading absolute value inequality graphs for one variable now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.